What's going on guys? So I got to spend a good part of this week off the farm at the beach, uh, getting a little vacation. Left my dad here to take care of the farm. Kind of miss working after a while. It's nice to be off, but good to be back. This morning, dad had some trouble with the triticale silo. It wasn't running, wasn't working right. So I'm gonna climb up there and he's gonna run it right now. And we'll see if we can figure that out. This is the triticale silo here. It's a top unloading silo. I'm gonna have to climb up the outside and then I'll let my dad know and he can run it while I'm up there. Sure, I was turning up and down a lot, so I'm not sure where I am or where I'm at. Okay. I'm gonna climb up this chute, which is runs up the outside of the silo. Okay. This unloader's been giving us a little bit of trouble. You can see we're down maybe a quarter of the way down the silo now. Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch piled up here, kind of. All right, it kind of looks like the auger might not be running. I guess you can try running it and see what happens here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. I could tell right away when I came in here the auger wasn't spinning because of how the feed's kind of piling up here. So we tried running it. The auger down here wasn't spinning. This auger's what pulls the feed into the center, just runs, pulls it to the center of the silo, and then it goes into this blower here and out the chute there. All it is is this bolt here on the end. I guess it's made to shear off if something stops it. I'm not sure why that would have happened, but it goes through here. This is the end of the auger, and it's broken off. So we're gonna try and find the bolt that fell out and then put a new one in it. I found the bolt here now, four inches long. Man, it is hot in this silo. I was just feeling around underneath there. Wanted to find the bolts. For one thing, we want to know what size we need, but also don't want them running through that blower there or getting in the feed. So it's just one bolt here that broke off. Dad's gonna bring one up. Hopefully it's the right size and we can get it put back together here. This tree to cow's feeding pretty good. We got it in a little bit drier than we'd like, but it's doing fine. The cows are milking good on it. It's a little hot in here though. A little bit of heat coming off of it. I think this will work here. It's a little bit beat up, I guess. But. Yeah. Dad came up there with some bolts and we didn't have quite what we needed. He's gonna go down to the store and get what we need and we'll come back here and work at this. We've had this picked right manure spreader now for about six or eight months. Well, you can see it's needing a little bit of a cleaning. We've really liked it, used it through the whole winter season. And this time of year, we don't do as much manure hauling because we have some crops in the fields. So I want to get it cleaned up now so it can at least look nice for a little while. You can see it's like caked on up here. It's already hooked to the 7130 so we might as well wash this thing up a little bit too. Just have to get this new Holland out of the way and then we can pull it outside. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Those two right there need washed up too. This spreader should clean up pretty easy. Just gonna take this scraper up here, try to scrape this thick layer of manure off of here before I get the pressure washing.
dad went and got a bolt here. The hardest part's just gonna be getting it lined up correctly. Okay, I got the bolt through there. Just have to put the lock nut here on the back side of it. Got the bolt in and the nut tightened there. Yeah, go ahead and run in here. I'm ready. Alright, it's working. So that was a really simple fix. I'm gonna climb down here. Just hooking up my pressure washer here. We'll get the thing soaking at first, just get it wet, and then we'll go over it and clean it up. Kind of a messy job, throwing it back on me, not making it the most fun. Look at that. Got a brand new spreader. 
Just don't look at this section here. If anybody wants to come and wash these beaters off, they can. Yes, yeah, so we've had this spreader now for half a year and I'm really liking it. It really made manure hauling fun this winter. Usually it's kind of a job you don't look forward to, but if you have a spreader that works every time, you don't have to worry about it breaking down and stuff like our old one. Definitely makes it a bit more fun. This spreader just does a lot better job with the spreading with the vertical beaters in the back. Really happy with it. All right, I'm gonna go park this in the shed, leave this pressure washer out here because we got more stuff to wash this week. Man, that thing looks good. Look at that. That corn planter back there, we're done with that for the spring. Gonna have to wash that up here this week too, along with the manure spreader. So I got some more washing to do. Just felt good to do something. I was at the beach all week this week since Monday, it's Saturday now. So getting out here, cleaning up the spreader, just felt good to get back to work. Even though that wasn't really a fun job, kind of a mess. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.